am wearing One Direction. Hey guys! Welcome to the Honesty Issue, I'm Katie. And I'm Sky. And today we're going to be talking about bipolar disorder. So there are two different types of bipolar disorder. There's type 1 and type 2. So type 1 bipolar disorder is when you reach periods of depression and mania. And type 2 bipolar disorder is when you reach depression and hypomania. So the difference between mania and hypomania is that hypomania is not full-blown mania. And when you're manic, you some people spend a lot of money, some people can hear and see things. Um, it all depends on how your body handles mania, I guess. When I'm hypomanic, I'm just overly elated. I will talk really fast, I feel like I'm on top of the world and I can do anything and I can take on 12 projects at once and I will just overwork myself. My dear best friend has bipolar disorder as well, my second one, because Katie is a one. When she is going through mania, she has a really hard time talking about it because she feels as if it's better to talk about depression than mania because mania is so misunderstood. But she can't sit down, she has trouble breathing. For lack of a better word, feels like she's going crazy. Mm -hmm. Personally, I don't necessarily feel like I go crazy. I love it. I love being manic. I get a lot of things done. I don't sleep. Like I'll go four or five days without any sleep. Oh my gosh. And I'm just on straight high. Which is why a lot of people that struggle with bipolar disorder don't want to take their meds. Because being manic is when you get your best writing if you like to write, or if you like to paint, that's when you get your best ideas. Something that's very misunderstood with bipolar disorder is mood swings. So when you have bipolar disorder, mood swings don't just happen in a few seconds, or a few minutes, or even a few days. It takes me about a week to go from a transition of going to depressed to hypomanic, and then back to depressed. But my depression will last at the max, I think I've had four months of straight depression. And then you'll start to go up to hypomania, which that whole going up will take a week. Not just you wake up and you're depressed or you wake up and you're manic. It's a slow and really draining process, especially going down. Because when you crash, you always crash harder than the time you did before. Another misunderstood thing. Something that drives me crazy is that people are like, oh, she's so bipolar because like, oh my gosh, I have bipolar disorder. I'm so moody. And it's, I mean, that goes back to our whole like adjectives as illness thing. This is a really serious illness and it's not something to make fun of or to take lightly. And the people who go through it aren't like, oh yeah, this is a fun time. I'm just having fun, you know, going up and down, you know, can't, can't yeah. keep track. <laughs> and a lot of people also think that being bipolar means you go from being happy to being angry really quickly, which is not what bipolar disorder is at all. And it's often taken as you go from being angry to being happy very quickly. But yeah. most people that have bipolar disorder aren't angry people, we're just really happy or really sad. <laughs> And I, I don't know if I can <laughs> talk about this, but they're not even mood swings. It's just, you know, series of mania and depressive episodes. episodes. Yes. <laughs> and kind of following mood swings is a mixed episode, which does not happen very often. I recently have just had one. And what a mixed episode is, is when you feel, when you're hypomanic and depressed at the same time. Sometimes when you're rapid cycling, which means you're cycling through depression and hypomania quicker mm -hmm. than you usually do, sometimes they'll overlap. And you, it doesn't usually last very long, but I felt so low and so depressed at the same time. I was so happy and so like over the moon vibe thing. And it is the weirdest feeling <laughs> in the world, but it's draining because you're fighting yourself all day whether you're trying to be depressed or you're trying to be manic and you're just going back and forth trying to kind of get your body adjusted. Kind of what it's like to live with bipolar disorder. A lot of people tell you this, it's like being on a roller coaster that you can't get off. You go up and then you go down and it's just constantly your whole life battling your up and down emotions. But I live a very normal life. There are definitely harder times than others where I'm really low or I'm really high and it does make life challenging sometimes, but I don't think if I didn't tell you I had bipolar disorder you would 
No. 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 Yeah. Nope. Taking care of someone that has bipolar disorder is tricky because we don't want you to take care of us. It's the same thing with any other mental illness. We want to do things by ourselves. We know our bodies and how we react to things better than anyone else. We've been battling these disorders by ourselves for so long. So letting someone come in and take care of you is hard. But when you have bipolar disorder, you need it. You need comfort at times. You need somebody to tell you to breathe and to calm down and to not take on so many projects. Like you need people to tell you when you're reaching your limits or when you're getting too sad because you will never be able to pull yourself out of it. Are you able to see like when you're manic or depressive? Because I... <laughs> been doing some reading and it said that well that struggle with bipolar you usually don't see it in themselves but they're more likely to have someone like approach them and say like hey are you okay like you've been kind of acting strange lately yes and no I can feel when I'm transitioning to them but when I'm in them I don't necessarily think oh I'm hypomanic right now or oh I'm having a depressive episode I just think, oh, I'm sad today, or oh, I'm really happy today. Okay. I don't think I'd, I've ever personally like identified like, oh, I'm so hypomanic right now. Mm -hmm. Like, that's never something that my brain connects. But I can definitely feel when I'm on the way down or on the way up. Okay, <laughs> the most important thing about having bipolar disorder to know is that medication is great. It takes a while to find the right bipolar medication, but a mood stabilizer is the best thing when you have bipolar disorder. It doesn't erase your mood swings, it doesn't make them go away, it doesn't even really make them, doesn't soften the blow of them at all. It just, you're able to think more clearly and you're able to live a more normal life. Be less affected by it? Yeah. Or control Your life isn't revolving around what episode you're having. So if you have bipolar disorder and you have medication, <laughs> Take it, keep taking it. I know being manic is great, <laughs> and I know you get a lot of things done, but it's not worth crashing when that week or two weeks is over because you will fall harder than you did before. And bipolar kills people. Mm -hmm. When you're crashing from that hypomanic, you get very suicidal very quickly in a lot of people. Bipolar is hard to deal with. So if you're lucky enough to have gotten help, get on medicine, stay on it, take it as directed, and keep letting your doctor know how your mood swings are. Katie's just a really big representative for take your damn medicine. <laughs> just take your medicine. I don't understand. I have spent plenty of time being like, oh, I'm fine. I don't need medicine anymore and going off of it and crashing harder and ending up in a hospital. Not worth it. No, yeah. it's not. Just might not have to be on it forever for some people. But for now, if your doctor tells you to take a pill, like, take a pill, you will live. In fact, you'll keep living. That's the best point of taking a pill. It's going to help you out. You'll feel better. It's okay. Take your medicine. Thank you. Just overall though, bipolar disorder, while it's definitely hard to live with, it's dangerous, especially if you don't get the help you need, there's nothing different about Skylar and I. I just have different highs and different lows than she does. Yeah. I'm happy in my life, like where I am, and bipolar disorder isn't who I am, it doesn't define me, it's just a part of me that I have to deal with, and it's something that I'm willing to deal with. It's like and the other illness, you just gotta push through it. And I don't see Katie in any different way. Like you were saying, like, we are still, I don't know. There's not that, oh, she's in her episode right now. Like, yeah. I actually wouldn't have guessed, like you said, I wouldn't have guessed that you had it. But you just gotta take care of people that, you know, are dealing with it. Just gotta hug them and keep your door unlocked so they can come snuggle you. Well, thanks guys. Um, we love you. And um, if you want to uh, ask us any questions or we can help you out in any way, please feel free to comment videos or email Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. <laughs> and I think that's it. Yes. Yeah. And we'll be here next time. And we love you. Bye guys. Two, three. Really? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Crushed in life today. Crushed, crushed it. Crushed in life. It's gone. No. You can sleep over any time. Thanks, doll. Mm -hmm. She has one of my shirts. It's fine. <laughs>